what is up YouTube take three of this commentary so what are we doing this week this week we're doing a pencil bowl that I have done in the past but this time we're gonna use some different pencils these are just regular graphite pencils but they are kind of near and dear to my heart these are the pencils that my guest used at my wedding reception for a trivia game that we were playing and I didn't want to just throw them out and decided to save them because I figured hey I can do a bowl and kind of build a little bit of a memento using them so that's what we're doing this week so with this particular project, just like my previous ones, taking them over to the bandsaw, getting them cut down to nice normal little pieces, and I'm going to create little bitty chunks of these pencils to put into a bowl that you can see there that's on the left hand side of the screen, and going to basically just pour some resin over them and turn them down. Now immediately I do apologize for some of the photography in this particular video. Not my best work, but decided to put it you know put it on the channel anyway and as you can see all that graphite that is just basically exploding every time we take a pass on the bandsaw will come back to bite me in the ass a little bit later so here we are got all the little pieces built the way that I want took the glue gun getting the waste block in the bowl and this particular project isn't very big I didn't have a lot of pencils to begin with so I knew that the bowl was going to be shallow uh, overall and here I am adding uh, what I'm thinking is going to going to be a backstop to prevent these things from floating, but I'm going to have a little bit more uh, of a problem with that later in the build. So the whole purpose of this was just to basically put them on the sides and the edges to prevent them from floating. So obviously wood will float when you put epoxy in it. So what I didn't want to have happen is all the pencils floating on the top and then leaving like a shallower bottom. But uh, I'm going to have to add some colorful pencils uh, or popsicle sticks here in a little bit uh, to prevent that from happening. So here we are, the final project uh, right before the epoxy pour. I ended up taking some popsicle sticks and using them as a guard to prevent that from floating. So we're using East Coast resin for this particular project and here we are with the epoxy pour. Didn't add any color or anything obviously because we wanted those pencils to have like a nice pop to them once we uh, had everything nice, neat and set up in the epoxy. And as you can see here, there is already some floating and you can see those little pencils starting to float to the top. But casting went really well. I was really happy the way this turned out. I love East Coast Resin. It's crystal clear epoxy. You can see every little bit of detail in the actual blink itself and it makes it look really amazing. So I'm going to openly admit I had a lot of high hopes for this build initially, but as you'll see here in just a little bit, we had a little bit of an issue and it was particularly because of all that graphite that's going to come back and basically just smear up the entire project. So here we are getting the waste block on so we can mount the faceplate using that hot glue gun that I've grown to love so much. Here we are placing that on there and what I've discovered with the hot glue once you place that on there it's really hard to move so make sure that you have everything squared up when you're actually putting that on. So here we are getting everything onto the lathe getting everything spun down and here we go starting out and right away we're getting really good shavings off nice cool ribbons flying off absolutely love that you can see me getting hit in the face uh, with all that cool shavings that's probably my favorite part about doing these projects is just all the cool shavings that's how you know you're gonna have a good project but even though we had some good shavings we're gonna have a little bit of an issue a little bit later so once I got some of the material off now I'm just hitting it with that round carbide tool uh, getting everything just nice neat and even and here we got it on the back side making that cool tannin that we love so much to do on this channel and in this particular project I did get a little aggravated uh, I ended up breaking my square carbide tool, so I'll have to take some uh, regular epoxy and attach that again because uh, as you could probably see there, I know I didn't pause the video, but there's a big chip that I'm working on that actually hit me in the face. And I was wearing my face shield, but it was still kind of aggravating when you get hit with a large piece of epoxy that flies off the lathe and hits you and scares you. It's, it's an aggravating kind of process. But we worked out that particular problem 
and now we're just taking down that uh, waste block and tannin piece where the base plate was initially uh, placed. And this part went relatively smooth. Uh, by this time, I hadn't noticed that my uh, square carbide tool was actually broke uh, because of where I had my hands placed on it. So here you can see we're getting really good ribbons off. Gouging uh, went, didn't go as smooth as I initially wanted it to go. The waste block portion of it was really well, but once we started to get that epoxy uh, turned down a little bit, it just took forever. And you can see right there, we're getting a little bit of dancing on the lathe, which kind of is a little bit frustrating in this particular part of it. And I'm basically just trying to prevent uh, myself from getting any more chips to the face. So once, uh, I'll openly admit, once that lard large shard of epoxy hit me in the face I was kind of just kind of over this project a little bit so I'll admit that I was like ugh, because getting hit in the face with epoxy at that speed hurts even if you have a face shield it's still kind of off-putting a little bit so here we are I took the round carbide tool and I'm just trying to get the nice lip on it and I had some chipping on the edge of the lip of the bowl so I had to come back uh, a couple of times to basically even everything out so I didn't get the exact shape that I wanted to in this particular project but overall I was pretty happy with it but the problem with the graphite so once you started to turn it down and actually do this particular project where you're doing like the fine edge work you just had a lot of smearing and especially when it came to doing the sanding so we went from 320 all the way up to 1500 i did not do micro mesh on this only because i knew if i hit it with the micro mesh pads it was going to completely destroy those micro mesh pads because of all that graphite that is still left on this bowl so i sanded it down the best i could i wasn't really happy with the way it turned out overall because of all the smearing and you know the wood wax helped the outer portion of the bowl but that inner portion is where i had a real big issue because of all the smearing and there's nothing you can really do about that and i came back a little bit later hit it with the lacquer you can see there in the middle part of it you would sand it sand it and then you would still get that smearing because of the graphite but i mean overall the bowl looks pretty good wasn't a complete disaster so hope you guys like the project a little wedding memento using some pencils it still looks cool hopefully we'll okay so the project is done i'd be lying if i said i was incredibly proud of this particular project uh I only was able to send it up to 1500 and but all this graphite is kind of smearing the wood so it looks dirty and I thought about just not posting this video but I'm like you know what if you're gonna do pencil work you're gonna have some issues so this is just graphite that is in there it looks kind of cool you can kind of see the design of it but the problem is if you can't get that really good polish and you have all this graphite smearing it it's gonna make your bowl look kind of funky so uh it's a bowl Meh. so hope you guys enjoyed the project got something out of it i'm gonna actually spray this with lacquer i'm gonna save you guys from that just to keep the the uh, graphite from pouring out so anything i put in it i don't want to get smeared on so hope you like the project don't forget to subscribe it's actually today is like november 22nd you guys won't see this until probably the summer sometime so anyway hope everybody's doing well uh, and I'll see you guys in the next project. So if you use graphite, this is what you're going to get. All right. I'll see you guys in the next project. Bye.